Travis went good, so. Uh, last night I was disappointed by one of my subscribers. And she had to be banned. And, uh, unfortunate. But, uh, sorry. And it was because of a comment she made on former U.S. agent Bill Barr busted for protecting LDS Church from prosecution. And in there, I did a reminder for you guys about uh, my having sued the church back in 2019, 2020 in the federal courts. And uh, it was necessary to remind you because of the number of new people that are showing up. There's only less than a handful who are still around who remember my videos when I was covering the lawsuits against the church and the death threats that I was receiving from them, the attempts of assassination that I was receiving, and uh, uh, all of the different tortures and abuses that were going on during that time period and uh, and so I also tried to help you guys understand how you can learn the truth for yourself specifically about the church so that the church doesn't con you so that ex-mormons don't get conned by the church and you, and likewise, getting conned by ex-Mormons who are circulating the same videos over and over again that are all misrepresenting the real history of the church. <clears throat> and despite all this, she comes out with a comment that got her banned. She says, I don't believe a word you're saying, exclamation point. Why did you subscribe to my channel? Why are you wasting my time with a hate comment? To try to gaslight me with your beliefs? You know, I could have gone straight to Google search as she could have. That would be Travis Wayne Goodsell, the COP. Uh, there's the case text version. There's one for 2020. Yeah, this was the first one. It's case number 219 CV 711. And it was concluded on August 10th, where Judge Waddups, you know, said that the carved in stone evidence was ad hominem. <laughs> and here's the uh, one in 2020. It's case number 220 CV 6. 33 and this one is they don't list the uh, type of case she does this is her uh, Tina Campbell's reason for dismissing my case uh, and she only calls it a RICO statute. She doesn't include the others. And she, she purposely shut me down and silenced me, preventing me from... She wouldn't recuse herself. I saw what they were doing and she went and did it anyway. So, yeah, I was denied petitioning for redress of grievances. But nonetheless, she could have done the same thing. 
and that concerns me. Do you guys only come to YouTube and whatever's on your homepage that you like, you click on it? So you just scroll down and click on things you like? Is that how you do YouTube? Do you not search? Do you not want to watch what you want to watch? You let YouTube determine what you want to watch? Is that how you're doing it? Do you not know how to Google search? Do you not know how to do research? It's so frustrating. After all I'm doing for you guys, you know, I've sacrificed my life for you guys. This is to save you guys. I'm warning you about the church. They are a dangerous national world terrorist threat to our nation, to the world, to your lives. This is what they've done to me. They've utterly ruined and destroyed me. And I get somebody saying, I don't believe a word you're saying. They're coming for you too. So...